Well, welcome to the last episode of the vlogs. Good evening from Korea. Let's get right into it. <laughs> I actually did do one or two things today, so I'll have something to talk about. Started my day, same as normal. Shower, breakfast, I had oatmeal and a Pop-Tart because I don't have milk and I don't have bread. <laughs> so, made do. Um, played some GTA. I considered playing something else, but I didn't. I uh, did a little bit of cleaning, a little bit of tidying up of the room, a little bit of dishes. Uh, hung out on um, Discord again with the same guy from yesterday, then called some of my buddies from home. Had like six people in a call. We were all playing different games. Uh, excuse me. Around 2 o'clock, I went out into... Uh, Sorry, that's my, excuse me, that's my heater. Uh, it comes on automatically, that guy there. Next to the elephant that says hunger. I don't know if you can see him, yeah. Don't know why. Bought that out in Korea and I love it. Uh, yeah, but uh, around two o'clock I went out into uh, the city. Did a little bit of shopping, got some souvenirs, ran out of money. Uh, I'm actually going to get a little bit more money on my card and then go out again tomorrow because uh, it's my last chance to buy stuff for uh, family back home. And as much as I do have a literal, a literal suitcase full of stuff, uh, I still want to get some more things. So, yeah. I'll, I'm, I'm going to go back and see if I can snatch one or two more little extras that I can shove in my backpack. Uh, I still have to pack, technically. I mean, I have plenty of clothes back at the house. Uh, and I don't really need to bring anything other than what I want to bring. Like last time I went on vacation, all I brought was a backpack with snacks and uh, this big old briefcase that had my Xbox and TV in it. Now I have a laptop. So provided I still have plenty of clothes back home, I could honestly just, if it wasn't for the suitcase full of uh, <laughs> trinkets and treats, uh, I could just walk onto the plane, <laughs> phone in my pocket. But... I'm probably going to end up bringing the computer and everything as well. Now that I think about it, maybe I shouldn't bring the computer, because then I might be tempted to play more video games than do the things that I want to do. Now well, that's a decision I can make later, but yeah. Around uh, 5 o'clock I got back from shopping in the city, came back, did more cleaning, finally got my laundry from yesterday, which I forgot in there. Uh, I think I did play a little bit more GTA, but not much. Uh, I've kind of just been watching YouTube most of the day, just relaxing, uh, making sure that my stuff is in order. Uh, I did pack all the uh, trinkets and treats, so I don't I don't have to pack that. I leave tomorrow. I'm gonna be home for the first time in an entire year. so excited I just hope everything goes well I'm so, I'm so excited I, I cannot talk to you how important home is to me just to just to see those mountains again just to breathe that clean air be surrounded by trees to hug my mom to finally see my friends oh, I know I've been over it before but Wherever I go, I know I belong at home. I belong amongst the trees. I'm not a deserts guy. I'm not a cities guy. I'm a forests guy. I mean, my favorite color, I don't know if I ever mentioned this, but my favorite color is forest green, and it has been since I was like seven. Sometimes I'll say navy blue, but forest green has always been my favorite color. Like, when I have to paint things, I'll paint them navy blue. But forest green is always my favorite color. It's just not as interesting of a color. Like, uh, if I'm painting a car in a video game, I'll paint it blue. But for a color, I like forest green. But, yeah. I like the forests. I like the mountains. 
like the hillsides and the rivers. Just talking about it makes me like, there's like a feeling in my heart of like coming home. Some of you seeing this have never left home for as long as I have. Or as young as I have. <laughs> but uh, it's exciting. I'm so, so ready to go back there. Well, I'm not ready to go back there, to be honest. I need to make a list of things to do. I need to have a plan, a game plan. But uh, I'm excited to go back. <laughs> After I finish this video, which I will keep short as short as possible because I want to be in bed by 8.30, um, I actually, you know what, let me take some melatonin before I forget because I will forget. Um, I will probably try to make a list if I have time, probably while I wait for this video to upload. I'll oh, drop one. Oh, these things taste nasty and they make my teeth hurt, but the box said it would help me sleep, so I'm trying it. Medicine. Why does medicine have to taste nasty, huh? Why can't we have, like, Snickers, freaking Snickers emergency? Because I know some people don't like that. I actually really like emergency because I'm weird. But, like, uh, you know that, that cough syrup medicine that, like, is supposed to be cherry? But in reality, it's the blood of the damned boiled for a thousand days upon the suns of the seventh layer of hell. I, I, who makes that? It's not cherry. It's abusive. <laughs> I, I don't know why. why that, that medicine is supposed to be grape. It, it tastes like PVC pipe. Like, it's, we've done so many things as a human race. We've gone to the moon gone to the deepest points of the earth, climbed the tallest peaks like a long time ago. Why can't we figure out medicine that doesn't want to kill you? <laughs> it's like that song, uh, I want a new drug. When I don't down. When I want when I don't know that, that song, yeah. I haven't heard that in a while because I don't have a radio here and I don't know what the song is called so if I don't know how to look it up then I just sit here and be sad. But... <laughs> Yeah, well, it's like that song. We, we, we need to improve that as a human race. That's what we need to be moving forward to. Screw global warming. Give me gummies that don't taste bad. <laughs> oh, jeez. Gosh. This has been such an interesting thing to do. Because so many of these episodes are just kind of me learning to be happier with my boredom. Kind of be more grateful for what I have and uh, take more opportunities. That dinner I went to, I never would have done it if it wasn't for this. When I accepted that invitation, it was literally for this. It was so it would give me something to talk about. Uh, it's it's gotten me to walk out into Korea on my own, these videos. I, I, I didn't even think about that. But yeah, it's for these videos. Me wanting to feel better about the life I'm leading... I've done a lot about it because I realize a lot through these videos. I've I've talked to people and got them sorted. No, not got them sorted. Sorry, that sounds wrong. But got my problems sorted out that I had with them. I mean, this video series made me brave enough to uh, talk to someone I hadn't talked to in, gosh, six months? No, no, it was longer than that. It was like ten months. And uh, try to undo some wrong. And honestly, I feel a lot better for it. I, I talked about it on a, a Discord. The Discord I do keep mentioning uh, about how I finally talked to... Uh, I don't know if it's a breach of privacy, but just, I, I finally talked to my girlfriend, my, my ex-girlfriend, after so long, after a really hard breakup. For me, at least, I, I I didn't talk to her, so I don't know. But I finally talked to her and just, you know, apologized for just cutting off contact and stuff. I mean, that's never something I would have wanted to do is to be so petty as to do that. But I finally got to talk a little bit 
to her about that. Just kind of, at least I sent a message. She sent a message back, just like, hey, it's all right. And uh, I, I've dealing with uh, issues with family, dealing with issues with friends. I, I actually deal with it because of these videos. I mean, normally I just kind of sit there quietly and ignore it because I don't know how to deal with it. But I don't want to lie to the camera. Uh, I don't want to pretend to be happy about things. I want to be happy about things. I, I want to go do new things to talk about you guys, to talk to you guys about. I want these videos to have a meaning. I, I don't want every episode to just be, well, I did nothing. Oops. A lot of those, a lot of these are that, but the amount of videos in this playlist that aren't me sitting on my butt being sad, they exist purely because of the vlog videos. So, truly, really, gratefully, thank you. Thank you, whoever you are, for watching this, whenever you watch it, because it's meant for you. And you existing has really improved my life. Which is why I mean it when I say, whatever time it is for you, wherever you are, whoever you are, whatever you are, why ever you are, however you are, I hope that whether it be good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, that your time is good. Because you've honestly improved mine. So thank you. For real. This will be the end of season one of Good Evening from Korea. Season two will have a new wallpaper same setup. Probably mostly the same guy. Same nonsense. Maybe a little bit more content, but we'll see. Because I've been thinking about adding a, a musical recommendation. Something like that. Just a random song that I found thought was interesting. We'll see. We will see. In, uh, in about three weeks. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. The end. This has been Overlord Pop-Tart. Please do stay frosty. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year's if I don't see you. Well, you won't see me for Christmas, but... Yeah. Thank you. Goodbye.